Prophecy. It is a scary topic for some. It is controversial for others. But how about going to a conference dedicated to Bible prophecy where people that gathered here were of like mind? Yeah. And what I thought was so intriguing is bringing these different ideas to the table, different perspectives that maybe you hadn't thought of before. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we get stuck in a rut. We look at the same scripture verse over and over and over. And we don't let the Holy Spirit reveal it to us. And I love being around other people who have, have spent their lives focusing and saying, God, show me what's in these scriptures. That's right. And when we were at the conference, we got to meet several new people, made new friends. One of those was Dr. Richard Schmidt. He was astounding when he spoke about technology and how it's a forerunner to the end times. Certain things like AI are foreshadowing the rise of the beast. Uh, we're going to play you his interview. It's very enlightening. I think you're going to enjoy it. Hello, everyone. I'm here today with Dr. Rich Schmidt of Prophecy Focus Ministries. Thank you for joining me today, sir. Well, thanks so much for having me. I'm looking forward to this. Yes, sir. Um, you wrote a recent book about AI, artificial intelligence. Everybody's talking about that today. What does this have to do with Bible prophecy? Does it at all? Or, you know, everybody thinks from, from movies, their perspective, AI turns evil. But there is something to that, you know, because you have AI with with Jesus AI and people are asking mm -hmm. Jesus questions online and, and people are gullible enough to believe a lie sometimes. So with this book, just give me yeah, a rundown. Where's your perspective of where this is all headed? Well, it's, it's very interesting because artificial intelligence does have some very valuable things that are taking yeah. place in society. But when you look at uh, what really got my attention, when you look at Revelation chapter 13 specifically, mm -hmm. when we're talking about the one world economy, the one world religion, yes. uh, the one world government, that really got me because in Revelation 13, 15, it talks about the image of the beast that mm. basically will be put in the third temple, which is yet to be built. And this image has the ability to speak, process information. Wow. It's able to track down people from all over the world. I mean, we're just not talking Jerusalem. We're talking the entire world that will be able to track down information and literally cause those who aren't worshiping the image to die. How in the world can that take place with the kind of technology or even with a, an individual? Yeah. So this really sparked my if you will, imagination as to, well, is AI going to play a part? Is transhumanism going to play mm. a part? So all these things really started to kick in as to, wow, is this really the artificial intelligence and basically its infancy stages right now, mm -hmm. is it going to develop to what the millionaires and multi-billionaires want to do, which is basically create a godlike uh, a machine or people that are uh, have gone through the transhumanist kind of evolution, yeah. so to speak. So it's very interesting that there appears to be a very strong prophetic nexus with what's taking place with artificial intelligence right now. And, and Satan, through other people, has been pushing the message to evolve for years, reach that next stage of our evolution, you know, to be like God. That was the message he gave Eve from the beginning. You can be so much more than you are now. Just, you know, eat this apple and you're going to know things. You're going to be smarter. Is, is that a part of what you think he's going to sell? Could be involved with the mark of the beast in some way? Yeah, absolutely. I believe that's a, a major piece. So you refer back to Genesis chapter 3. Yes. Satan comes up to, to Adam and Eve. The big deception. Well, of course, how do you appeal to someone? How do you get them to buy into something? Well, I'll make you smart. I'll make it so you, God said you'll die. You're not going to die. Well, that's exactly what society is looking for. The ultra-wealthy individuals that are controlling the development of artificial intelligence and transhumanism, yeah. those individuals do not want to die. They're trying to defeat what God said wow. is absolutely going to take place. Will they succeed in it? They can't because it's uh, antithetical to God's program, which yeah. is we're all going to die someday whether yeah. we like it or not. So no matter how advanced the medicine gets or no matter how advanced the transhumanist development yeah. of body parts is, everybody's going to die, which is a key part here. Yeah. How, however, to, to your point, is there going to be significant deception that mm -hmm. the Antichrist and those that follow him buy into? Absolutely. I mean, that's got to happen. When you look at it again, and, and I love Revelation 13, to me it's like the powerhouse of what's coming. Mm -hmm. It just spells everything out. Everyone, the world, all nations, tongues, languages will be worshiping the Antichrist. Why? The big thing is 
this Antichrist, whoever he's going to be, whatever he'll be called, the world savior, who knows what they'll yeah. call him, but he'll come on the scene, he'll have tremendous charisma, be able to pull people into him. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, everybody gets a, a hit on their cell phone. This great world leader appears to be dead. Catastrophic wound. Yes. And what happens? Resurrection. The resurrection of the Antichrist. <laughs> it's just like, a. I mean, you look at what the, the Messiah, what Christ did. Everything mm. Satan does mimics what Christ did. Counterfeits it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So when we see this alleged miracle take place, I mean, it's just amazing. The Bible says not only will they worship the Antichrist, but this is what's amazing. I don't even know how this is going to be possible, but it, they'll worship Satan as well. They'll just buy into yeah. him. It's an amazing thought. So how in the world do the people even know that concept? Well, well, yeah. And they'll be saying, who is like the beast? Who can make war of him? Look at this guy. He's all amazing. Back to that transhumanism, uh, genetic altercation of, of mm. things. We've seen Satan mess with genetics throughout time. He, he, he's tried to create his perfect son, if you will, to mimic what the Messiah did. You know, mm. God made in flesh. And, and, and we see that in the beast. This is his progeny, if you will. This is his representative. And so uh, with modern technology, you have mRNA technology, and everybody's mm -hmm. trying, like you said, seek immortality. Well, we were given immortality at the beginning, but we lost it. But they're not going to God for that resurrection that, you know, we're going to receive that one day through our glorified bodies. They're receiving the counterfeit of that. And so with all this technology you're seeing today, um, do you see the trickle down? I mean, I mean, wh when does it occur where where it it changes who we are? Because people say you receive the mark of the beast, you can't go to heaven. You know, people then after they're receiving these punishments, they seek death and they cannot find it. Is this mm. part of Satan's plan? Uh, is this the result of them receiving his genetic altercations in their bodies? Well, I think it may be an aspect. Is it the complete picture? Maybe, yeah. maybe not. I mean, that's speculation at this point. Yeah. So, but is it going to play a part? Well, I think the uh, what we can pretty much guarantee out of this, we're seeing, and, and you mentioned RNA, yeah. the, the changes that are taking place with the current vaccines that are out there. Yeah. I'm not going to try and get political well, here, no, 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 yeah. but uh, uh, the issue being when you're doing things that are altering literally uh, the, the, the RNA of a person. On the cell level of someone. Right. It, it, I mean, you're altering things. The people that are into transhumanism, they want to go way beyond the simple things of yeah. a vaccine, which can have certainly some negative repercussions from it. Yeah. They want to alter the complete body, put different kind of eyes in you, put a, a, a things within your Hitler brain. Hitler tried that too. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think they're actually going to get some success out of this based on wow. some of the research that we've seen. Uh, I mean, when you look at the, the good side, just for people that might not be aware, mm -hmm. we're used to people without an arm, they get a prosthetic yeah. device, and I mean, they have a little bit of movement. Mm -hmm. Well, now they've developed it, and the videos are spectacular. Mm -hmm. You'll see a, a young lady that puts on the brand new type of prosthetic device, I mean, touches something, and all of a sudden she there's can feel. Yeah, it's Nerving amazing. Needs work, yeah. So when we're looking at this bionic kind of thing uh, somebody had said like the old six million dollar man programs yeah things are developing well is satan going to be using those things to advance what he's doing i, I think it's a fair game to say yes absolutely that's going to be taking place wow. the other key thing about the transhumanists is only the wealthy are going to be involved <laughs> yeah, in that's true. the the big issue right now is the poor people get rid of them they're sucking up too many resources you look at uh, uh, the big things that are going right now. Stop uh, the beef, if you will. They're, they're polluting the world, so they're trying to take away the food supply, yeah. agricultural issues, other countries buying up farmland. All of these things are being controlled, if you will, by the, by the billionaire folks that say, listen, we want to live forever, which means you can't live forever. So they're trying to wow. do this redesign. Uh, again, when you look at Revelation chapter 6 and uh, chapter 9, mm -hmm. in two verses, 50% of the world's population is destroyed. Yeah. So Revelation 6, 9, and 9, 18. Matthew 24 uh, tells us in verse 22 that unless those days were cut short, no flesh, flesh would, would survive. survive. Mm. So 
are all these things part of the prophetic nexus? Is transhumanist, is the multi billionaire, super powerful, yeah. wealthy people going to be jumping on Antichrist bandwagon? Yeah. I think we can go to the bank yeah. on that. <laughs> I, well, I, I agree with you. And just looking at the nature of the beast, Chaya in Hebrew, he's a chimera. He's e even with Daniel's. Uh, interpretation of Nebuchadnezzar's dream mm -hmm. you see these mixings of different kingdoms different nationalities different everything together and and he's not entirely human it, it, it seems he is that that next stage of the evolution but obviously Satan chooses him to indwell for that very particular reason and and I'm seeing it today um, I know you, you, you have GMO foods, genetically modified foods. We're eating things that are changed. Uh, we're taking, you know, vaccines that change us. All of this seems to be, oh, it's embettering us. It, it's, you know, they, they can PR it <laughs> till mm -hmm. the day. So, but that's what Satan's playing is. Isn't he coming as an angel of light? Isn't it about deception to, to first? He's not going to, oh, this is going to be evil. It's going to be good for us. Yeah, well, Matthew 24, I mean, it just spells it out over and over and over again about the tremendous deception, false Christ, yeah. that'll set the scene for the ultimate false Christ, which is Antichrist. Yeah. When, again, we go right back to Revelation 13, and I like to call it the Satanic Trinity, mm. all the time we're mocking, trying to do what God did. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Oh, well, Satan is his uh, diabolical trinity. Yeah. Satan imitating God the Father, Antichrist imitating Christ, and then the false prophet Ooh. imitating the Holy Spirit. So everything, again, Satan is a mastermind. Yeah. Uh, he, he's a little smarter even than me and you, Caleb. He just <laughs> is. Uh, and he'll use that diabolical ability, if you will, his devilish ability uh, to do horrible things coming in the future. Well, you're being a pastor. This question is it was for that pastor side of things. What can we do as believers to prepare not to be deceived, mm -hmm. to walk in the light of Yeshua, and, and to tell others to, to sound the warning without being oh, the crazy, all technology is evil, all, all, all AI is evil. What can we do to, to sound the alarm and call and not be, you know? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. The, the, well, the good news is right now, the, we're just in the beginning stages of all of those things which are setting the stage for Bible prophecy to come true. I mean, it's going to come to fulfillment. It's going to come no matter what. Yeah. Right. And when you look, again, we go right back to Revelation 13. The things that we've been talking about, those things are going to take place in the second half of the, of the tribulation. Yeah. So, w technically, here's the good news for folks listening to me and you today. Yeah. Assuming they're listening in real time. Yeah. And it's not a future program. Here's the good news. Every single person today, today, just like me, just like you, whether they're Jew, Gentile, whoever it is, can come to Jesus Christ today, receive Yeshua yeah. as their personal Savior, and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're going to heaven when they die. And I just love the verses, uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace, God's free and merited gift are you saved, saved from sin, saved from the penalty of sin, for by grace are you saved, it's through faith. Not it's of ourselves. Not of ourselves, yeah. it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any person Amen. should boast. So the good news today is receive the free gift of eternal life by placing your faith and trust in Christ. If things go bad, society-wise, culture-wise, here's the, what's the worst they're going to do? We're going to go to heaven. That's right. <laughs> they can only take our lives, but we have eternal life in Yeshua. Thank you so much for, for encouraging me today. I know that encourages me when I hear of a word of God preach. Yes, bad things are going to happen, but he is all powerful. We know the end of the story. He, Yeshua obtains the victory and Satan is defeated. And I'm, I'm so ready for that moment. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for having me, Caleb. I appreciate it. And uh, we just, uh, I love your ministry, what's taken place over the many years, and trust God will keep using you in the future. Thanks, Rich.